A hype train. Hello. We have a hype train. Okay. Now we have actual Ryan, volume. Sonora, Hello. Tahedron, and Clarodactyl. And Clarodactyl. Welcome everybody. Yo. Thank hey, you. Hey, we're here. Thank you. Thank um, you. Thank you. Pee pee poo poo. So, <laughs> choo choo choo. So uh, I am here. Obviously, hi. Um, I'm the one also who will be playing today. But uh, obviously, hi. Ha, obviously hi. Uh, <laughs> this is, um, but we have some other people here. Simone might be able to join us later. We'll see, but um, she's not here currently. I, I am other people. Yeah. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Hi. Hello, it's I'm, me, Pat. I'm Tina. Sorry, no, Tina. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm Tina. That's all. <laughs> Good job. Um, we did it. We did it, folks. <laughs> we did it. Folks, oh, Simone! Did. Simone uh, got the diseases. She came back with every disease that Europe could possibly offer. Yeah, I feel like that is that looks a little stuttery, right? I don't know if anybody else is watching this oh, stream, yeah. but my OBS oh, looks. Rainbow. Yeah, I need to. I, I did not expect this game to need yeah. a lot of changes to the video, but I would. Um, um, oh yeah, drop it down to two, uh, to 1440p. Um, um, oh, I thought I did. What the hell? Oh, I guess you Whoops. Save it. Okay. I think I have to go to window. Oh. Fancy Euro diseases. Yeah. Oh, no. That, way cooler than <laughs> us silly, silly American diseases. And then, um, I gotta move the game over. That video source in, uh, What's the program called? Uh, OBS, and hit Control R. It'll reset the size if it's squashed. No, I got I it. Squashed. Okay, it wasn't oh, actually. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I think an but... infection is quite like a disease. Let's see what else That's I true. can do. Mm -hmm. What's everybody's favorite disease? Sound <laughs> off in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Global illumination. Okay. There are some changes. I do feel like. Does that Sometimes change I anything? feel like I have a perpetually runny nose. Really? Is this game's still rough. Yeah, or just like perpetually stuffy nose, which I don't know if that's just like allergies or something. Yeah. Or or like extra long COVID, because I did like get COVID uh in the past. Right. So, I, I mean it could be a lot of things. Do you I don't know. Do you know do you have like a deviated septum or anything like that? I don't think so. I think I've always had pretty good nose breathing, but yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> walking these, these lights are so cute. Oops. Yeah, I did it wrong. Oh my god. Yeah, well, sort of. Um, I feel right, like it's still. Good on the stream now, by does the way. it on the stream? Because my OBS just looks stuttering, and I'm basing it off of that. But if the stream looks okay, yeah, then sometimes... I. Sometimes. Stream, stream looks good, I think. Yeah, okay. Then it's... I'm going to stop looking at OBS so it doesn't make me <laughs> freak out probably sub 60 but it is running like a actual game so okay top 10 nose breathers at polygon i wonder where i, I am one in. of them i am number yeah. one i think you're number oh, one top top no, no, wait, I, can't really I when i see clips of myself laughing i get upset because i have to do this thing where i inhale through my mouth afterwards because i don't think i can get the oxygen in through my so i think that the classic pat noise is Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. oh, oh, we hey, got some Plus lore. Greg, thank you. Got some lore here. Thank you. Thank um, you. I'm going to skip through this because it won't make much sense at this point. Um, but so, OK, so I should I should probably explain some stuff about what I'm doing here. Tell this us. is this is Jusant. Jusant. Uh, Jusant, which is a word Jusant. that means something. It means um, I guess when the tide like goes out and leaves the land dry, I think that's what it means. Where's um, Simone when we need her? Yeah, exactly. She she could tell us. But the where am I trying to go here? Um, but and and what that means in reference to the game is that oh Pat's quiet. Sorry, I can I can get Pat. Why am I always quiet? That's weird. Uh, one two one two one There's two Discord. one two check 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 There's check Discord. check you know check. Take this how you will, oh, no. but I don't. I, this game looks a lot cooler than I thought it would. 
when you said Clay Clayton was like, oh, uh, we're gonna be playing this rock climbing game mm -hmm. song. I was literally just picking like good old standard rock climbing or maybe like oh we're climbing oh. like a mountain just a regular yeah. just a regular old mountain i wasn't picturing a bunch of like glowing cave rocks and shrooms or whatever this is so much cooler it is very pr i love the rope oh man okay so the rope is fully retractable and i'm i'm literally i was like what do i go in this and this is actually later in the game so that i feel like the puzzles are a little harder i'm just trying to reach that oh i need and oh, the yeah, other thing right. here that I haven't actually been able to, I feel like, show very well yet is that at its core, the climbing is about your two hands being just the triggers. And you use the analog stick to control, like, the direction you're moving your hands in. Um, mm -hmm. So it's actually, like, kind of the best feeling um, rock climbing I've played in a game. Um, it's very good. It does sound very satisfying. I'm trying to make sure this is where I'm supposed to go, or am I supposed to go up here? Ryan, Sonora, yeah, you have to now choose between live Clayton or recorded Clayton. Which I are you going to do? I can't believe how many times we've had the discussion about moving video release day and stream day off the same exact hour, and somehow we keep not doing it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Why do we do that? Oh, yeah, and, and Pat, yeah. We're both in the video. We did a video together. Oh, that's right. It's a, it's a collabo. It, it's hey, it's a YouTuber collabo. We did. Half okay, of I'm starting to feel like this is not actually Polygon. where I'm supposed to go. And I'm feeling bad that I picked up this game at this point and I forgot where I'm trying to go. Um, okay. Thanks for the video striking. <laughs> That'd be so cool, Kazool, if if all of a sudden we could see our stamina bar. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this room. Let go. I, I, I am like the really rope sound. Music in this. It is very good music in this game, and hopefully I'll get to show more of that. So this is where I went. I came from. I went up here. But was I just Thank coming up? Oh, there's a door. Okay, there we go. Oh, a door. There we go. Who oh, needs there's to little climb when yeah. You have doors? There's little critters around too in the environment. It's very good. It's it's. Oh yeah. So have this you introduced is... us to your shoulder critter yet? Um. Yeah. Gosh, I wish I knew what his name was, but he's just my little guy. He's just on he, there. When I'm in the light, I'll try to show you. I'm in a cave right now, but I'm in a, like the light. I'll try to show him off better. I agree. Plus, Greg, the rope sounds are nice. Lots of good sounds. Something about them. Okay, so that's a little. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I'm a I'm a big fan of grappling hook noises. The the whoosh and the whoop and the stick and the. It's like, this rope sound. It's not too aggressive. You know. You know what yeah. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's clanking and latching on to something. It's just like. Little nooks and crannies. Um, oh, no, wrong one. I want the one up there. Nice. Do we have a, is this a uh, silent protag? And yes. Don't use words? Yes. Okay. okay. The link grunts and hops. So now I'm hanging on and I'm going to use, so my little guy is not just a guy, a cute little guy on my shoulder. He can do this sort of like interact button. Uh, which activates some of the fauna, and this fauna lets me kind of do a super jump. Oh, cool. Oh, I didn't grab on, so that was my bad. I have to physically grab on. Oh, and I have a little stamina meter too, and I'll explain that better when I'm actually going up like a big hill. And then grab on, okay. And then I gotta release my belay. It's an auto belay. It kind of, it automatically sticks on sometimes if there's a little thing to latch it into. But you have to remember to deactivate, to let it go when you land somewhere. Um, looks like I go up that way. But just see if there's any other lore. So I'm on. I'm actually inside of this huge stone tower that is in a huge dry ocean bed. And so you're kind of the story here in a very TLDR is that there is no more um, ocean, and you're finding the remnants huh? of a civilization that obviously used to have 
a huge ocean and slowly had it slowly like dr dried up and now it has been long gone um that's kind of what you're discovering as you go up this tower um okay oh i'm going up real high. oh wow yeah i'm probably going all the way up there that's cool Ooh. okay so yeah here's the base this looks like a simple place to kind of show this so yeah i literally just latch on right trigger and you can actually see like my hand around left trigger right trigger left trigger and you can go real fast Ooh. once you kind of get the like sort of that looks satisfying it's very satisfying the climbing in this and the climbing puzzles are as much as everything else is great are still like for me the major draw i'm gonna jump and grab on and jump is just uh kind of aiming the uh, analog stick in a direction and then holding down a and releasing all your holds and then holding again when you are landing where you want to land mm -hmm. um so my your stamina goes down very slowly when you're just climbing, but when you jump, it uses a considerable amount. But it's kind of complicated. It uses some of it permanently, like some of it can't recharge. But as long as I'm hanging on, I can press in the analog stick and recharge. Oop, I let go. That was my fault. Um, you can recharge your stamina, and then you can actually go very far that way as long as you manage it well, like kind of recharging after every jump. Um, and just keeping a handle of not letting too much of it get lost permanently. Um, okay, so I'm going to do that again. Um, so what just happened there is I let go and fell. I have the belay down there to start, but at any time I'm sitting on a wall, I can add my own belay, and now I'll just fall from here. Cool. And again, the string physics still all work from this belay I set, so the puzzles, the puzzles for climbing can get pretty interesting. That's so cool. Pretty sick. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna jump over here. We're a sick. We're a Are you limited on how many? Uh... Well, I got three of them plus the one I start with. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Okay, and so now this is the other trick to it is there's. I, I hopefully I can see some of the other life forms that you have to interact with. Um, but yeah, so now I got my super jump. And I'll probably stick a belay here. But it looks like I'm almost done. I think. I'm actually supposed to go the other way, but I'm just looking up here real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm just, okay. And I just let go and swing over here. And now a big jump. And so when you jump, you can kind of do an extra jump too. You Again, it uses even more stamina. Um, but sometimes you'll see me do a jump and kind of go a little farther, and that's what I'm doing. I like how a lot of the um, the climbing in it, in in a sense, is mocking or is kind of like simulating the way that you have to do all this complicated gripping, because it is mm -hmm. forcing you to kind of like hold an analog, a, a couple triggers down, and press an analog stick, and maybe press another button. And it's like somehow I like the almost quap esque way it's asking you to contort your hands. Um, yeah. It's never in a way that feels unfair. Most of the climbing feels very good, and those moments are these moments of like testing your skill. Um, I love quat. Yeah. It never feels that goofy, just just to be clear. But um, okay. And... I feel like there should be an award at the Game Awards for most satisfying sounds, because they have yeah. <laughs> best audio design. But Too I broad. feel like this is different. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's up there. Like, sure, it's audio design, but it's like. Oh, it's right here. Okay. What are some of your favorite video game sounds, do you know? Gosh, I mean, right now I'm just I'm listening to all these sounds and I'm like, mm, mm, snaps. <laughs> but hmm. Hmm. I don't know that I'm any immediately come to mind. I mean, there's a lot of like nostalgic, iconic ones, but yeah. I'm trying to think of any particular ones where I'm just like, ah, great sound. Oh, the string is... So look, check this out. The string actually does, like, loop around things. And there was a puzzle, oh, like, a sorry. climbing thing I did that actually, like, that became an issue, the way my belay was, like, snagging around something, and I had to find a different route, but that didn't happen, um, which I found really neat. I like the... I like soft feet pitter-patter oftentimes. 
like the, the crunch the crunch 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 sound when you're walking on snow in animal crossing oh. mm -hmm. or just general general walking in or running in animal crossing i think is fun oh i activated two things there Half-Life Alex. I need to play that. I gotta play Ooh. that. I have a um still like the best my, VR game, honestly. <laughs> yeah, the, the new PC I built that does uh does not have a USB C port on it, and I oh, realized no. that the other day, so that's Oh fine. no. Um, How does a motherboard not have at least one these days? I think my I bought a pretty old motherboard. Okay. Um, but uh I have a cable coming that should <laughs> fix things for me. Sweet. Um, and I watched you. I watched you play Half Life Alex. Finally, it is. Um, fuck yeah! That that game somehow is an extremely good addition to the Half Life games. Like it's it's a really good full featured Half Life game, and it, you don't expect it to be. And then you realize that you've just gotten a second gun in the game out of the four guns you're gonna get that also have upgrades, and you're like, wait, I've already been playing this for like six hours. You mean there's that much more wow. game to play? Man. Um, and then the ending is great. Like, it's genuinely, yeah. yeah. That is very good. I mean, I, I certainly haven't played that Mahjong solitaire game, Go on for, but, like, I can almost picture exactly what you're talking about. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, do we have somebody else? Greetings. I need it's to make me. sure our cams are okay. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah, I fucked up your cameras. No, it's okay. Simone I illness. knew this would happen. <laughs> How you doing, Hello. Simone? Hello. I'm doing good. I'm back with all of my... Uh, I brought back more European diseases. <laughs> more diseases. Because, oh. like, last time I went to, to Venice, I, you know, mm. I brought back so many diseases, but I feel like... There were still some that I was missing, and I wanted to share them with you all, like the different sounds that I can mm -hmm. uh, that a cough can make, mm -hmm. uh, the different ways that sort of phlegm can be configured in a human throat. Mm -hmm. So I went to Paris. Yeah, I brought back more. Oh, more diseases. Oh, yeah. I was just yeah. going to ask, like, do you think it's more the same or less diseases than last time? These had better not be the same freaking diseases because <laughs> last time I had mono and I don't think that it's possible. Uh -huh. It shouldn't be possible to get that again. <laughs> um, yeah. sort of a duo. Mm. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I have duo nucleosis right now. <laughs> it's kind of like how in so Pokemon Go, are... there's like Pokemon you can only get in certain places of the world. Yes, the yeah. shiny diseases. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Simone got all the shiny variants of her previous diseases. <laughs> oh my god, shiny mono. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Ryan Center is asking if you're alive, and I, I like the idea no. that we can, we can't confirm if you're alive no. yet, because this could simply be like an AI you know, recreation. An AI, voice, yeah. AI voice generated. You'd never know. Like, well, yeah, hang on. We, we can do some proof of life stuff. Uh, Simone, how do you feel about the announcement of your car, car, car guy being in Fortnite? Patrick, do you know only two people messaged me about that? One of them was you, and the other was Russ Rushdick. So honestly, <gasps> that wasn't I a feel joke. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. Who, who's, who's, who's getting added to Fortnite? They're Lewis adding Hamilton. car guys. They're adding car guys oh. to Fortnite. Oh my god. We need to re-up the freaking video that I made. Car guys Actually, maybe I should duet that on TikTok. Yeah, wait, that's such a good idea. Yes. Well, shit. Is that All the right, only F1? <laughs> car guys Yeah, because he's Fortnite. like... <laughs> that's the jingle. He's part of, like, a special <laughs> package. Uh, you have to buy a bunch a of... package, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's some new little animals. So these um, are, like, mobile hand uh grips um oh, cool. you can't hang on to one for too long eventually it gets tired but you can hang on oh. to two at once and then spread the weight uh, oh. thanks little guy thanks little buddy i feel like they have really cute names and i can't remember what it is oh there's a little wizard wizard and a hot. Okay, I really need to recover some stamina. Maybe put down a belay. Oh, okay, I can just hang out for a sec. Rest my own fingers. Um, 
Did you, did you get to play mini games somehow? I guess I know the answer to this. But Zero games. No games. No games. No carnival, no games, bro. Oh, man. Actually, it was all kind of all carnival, no games. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, I downloaded um, Chance of Senar just to play on the plane, um, and then I I ended up I don't know what I was I was probably sleeping and listening to podcasts on the plane. Um, but then on the way back I was I watched a couple movies. I watched, actually, watch? I mm. go on. Yeah, know what you watch? Uh, I rewatched season one of Fleabag, which still freaking mm. slap. <laughs> and then I got to home and immediately started rewatching season two of Fleabag. <laughs> I also watched um, You Hurt My Feelings, I think that's what it's called, mm -hmm. uh, which is the new movie, or the latest movie that Tobias Menzies and Julia Louis-Dreyfus were in, oh. um, which was just fine. Oh. I thought the mm. screenplay was a little raggedy. Um, but, you know, it was fine. <laughs> I think that's all I watched on the plane. Oh, that's so cool that they're moving when you're climbing on them. I know, and I'm kind of like, I was sort of trading back and forth between a couple, and that's the fastest way. You kind of like, let them all shoulder the load. Um, there we go. Let me get to another... So, so yeah, it's kind of these little pauses in between climbing where you have, you know, the world building. Um, and I am skipping through that, but I think the writing is very nice. It is very good, um, slow drip kind of understanding what, what's going on. Um... And it's has also, it's Polygon, very packed, yeah. Has oh. Polygon ever done a video about idle animation? Ooh, have we? I don't think we have. And That's not idle, a good idea. Idle animation specifically, <laughs> but, so, um, let me get, yeah, this is credit, a nice Credit spot. Galumfer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For both your good, uh, champagne joke and also this good idea. I did it. <laughs> Good boy. The baby. Nice. That was a little sweet animation. Uh, but I'll, I'll let him idle now. Um, It's a very good little uh, shoulder guy. He's great. Look at him. Little wiggler. Oh, the, the player character's cute, too. It's adorable. I if we go outside, I love his sunglasses. They're those kind of like um, uh, no lens, super thin slits sunglasses that I think, I, I feel like it was, I, uh, oh, it was like nomadic people. I feel like we're using them um, in this photo I saw once. They look like they're cyberpunk, but they're from like, you know, centuries and centuries ago. <laughs> um, but he only wears them when you're outside. Which is interesting because you actually <laughs> run, run if you're in direct sunlight, you lose stamina quicker. True. Okay. okay. <gasps> Look, he's hanging yeah, out even as I'm going. <laughs> he turn upside down. He turn upside down and he wiggle. And then we go up. Oh yeah, has anyone seen the uh, first trailer for Avatar: The Last Airbender? Oh my god! There's yes, a trailer for I it. I watched oh. it. I think I watched it on the plane right before I took off. It looks so yeah. freaking good, dude. It looks really good. <laughs> I, I think the only thing that I am still hoping for slash looking out for is, I guess, what, what the actors are going to sound like, you know, when they're in character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And whether they're still going to have, like, the humor of Avatar. Yeah, yeah. Or if it's it, all going to be, like, like pretty serious. serious. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I'm only judging it just based on the casting looking so mm -hmm. good and like all of the yeah. costumes and the makeup that they showed looked so freaking good. Katara looked way younger than I, I guess, thought that she was, um, but that's also fine considering, I guess, mm -hmm. that was always one of the things that yeah. was kind of weird about <laughs> her and Aang is that it, they looked like they were, they had more of an age difference than they did. Yeah, um, for me, for me, I thought like Sokka and Katara looked about the age that I imagined them to be. <laughs> Aang looked younger than I imagined him to be, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, oh, he is canonically like really, really young. Plus, like, if they do make like you know the full sequence of movies, this gives him like time to like 
grow up a bit and and not be like a full-blown like man by the time the movie's <laughs> exactly over. that's what i was thinking too with katara i was like yeah people change a lot at that yeah. age um oh my god but yeah the um god i'm forgetting the name of the character who is the character that um Sokka ends up with Zuki. she looked so good yeah yeah oh the my warriors, god go the kiyoshi hard. warriors go all right i'm gonna go so hard <laughs> perpetual panda also thank you and rikering oh yay oh yeah there's a question uh also mm -hmm. i'm gonna walk Riker the trailer again right now thank you perpetual panda uh simone are you going to watch jared harris as a high school teacher in brave the dark and submit yourself to his latest quote unquote american accent i this is the first i'm hearing about this uh-oh uh-oh uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. oh go now i'm learning something interesting huh but who's jared harris jared harris is the guy who plays um oh crozier in the terror and he also Ooh. plays a character in well he's in foundation and then the space series that clayton loves what's it that's, called again? that's foundation the expanse no no the expanse oh he's also in the expanse actually you're right he's in both of those yeah um yeah. he's a bigger role in the uh, in foundation which i've been watching recently i'm almost to the end of the new season it's a really good show man i don't i remember the first season being pretty good and like high budget but the second season is just like i don't know i, I if it's like a weird to say it's like Game of Thrones level, but like the political intrigue, the acting, the costuming, the like actual action that's happening has just like that's a I, I highly recommend it. It's very good. Uh, Galumfer has reminded me. Thanks, Galumfer, <laughs> again <laughs> with the triumvirate. Uh, he's also in Chernobyl. He plays the uh, <coughs> lead in Chernobyl as well. Um, yes, he's also that's awesome. Jared Harris. So Pat, how dare you ask this question? I, I watched uh, 1981's Excalibur the other day. Nice. Uh, Jared Harris in that? No, Patrick Stewart. And I don't give a that. shit. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Patrick Stewart. That's okay. Oh, okay. Uh, he's got really, really good, uh, really good costumes. Just everybody wearing like full gleaming plate armor. Uh, That's awesome. I wonder how heavy it was. They probably didn't have very light fake metal back. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe it was plastic. Should we pivot Spray to watching painted. trailers on this stream? <laughs> no, we could in a bit. Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> gotta rest my fingies. Oh, I'm just trying to figure out where to go. <laughs> gotta rest your digital fingies, fingies from all yeah. this climbing. Okay, I've listened to 13 <laughs> seconds of the Brave the Dark trailer, and I see what you mean about Jared Harris's latest, uh, air quotes here, American accent. <coughs> yeah. Hey, here's a question. What, what the fuck is Madam <coughs> Webb? <laughs> oh, I've been seeing. Oh, that we gotta watch on that. My Twitter feed. Yeah, I haven't seen I it, so a live react. I haven't even watched the trailer. I've just like seen it on my Twitter feed and assumed it's something that I wouldn't like. <laughs> when she was searching spiders right before she died. Oh, your mom too? I yeah. I saw something <laughs> that or, or some tweet saying that oh, the no. villain they're setting up in the trailer is basically like a worse morbius yeah our joshua um, morbius? wrote about the uh ridiculous villain from the comics at least no way to know how much they'll keep that um in this movie series but it sounds wild worse bias um, worse bias less bias yeah. yeah not as much bias um, boy, they sure just keep making movies, huh? It's so weird that <laughs> this one comic series <laughs> has to have a ton of these obscure villain movies just so Sony can main maintain ownership over it. It's such yeah. a weird thing. Oh, I didn't leave one again. That was a bad job on my part. Okay, one more time. Oh. Hmm? Sorry, I'm looking at my fantasy football lineup. Oh. Please, please don't get too excited. Oh, no! You're... 
You're into fantasy football. Wait, when you say football, do you mean um like soccer or like American football? I mean American football because Polygon has a fantasy football league that everyone was told about and oh my it's God. fine. I did it again. I think I <laughs> stick to the Senate. forgot. <laughs> How many people are in it? I think there's like six of us. Um and he, so here's my moral dilemma. I did tell everyone that this was happening when we did the draft, mm -hmm. but I hopped on the phone with my brother when we were drafting because I don't know anything about football and I don't give a shit about football, but I love winning. And my brother <laughs> loves football and it's in like okay. multiple fantasy <laughs> leagues. So he kind of drafted my team for me. Nice. And now I am kicking ass. That rules. <laughs> yeah. 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 Jeg, Jeg, you should have known Simone was a jock. I mean, the racing. Yo the 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 partying in paris like <laughs> certainly yeah <laughs> that's what jocks do Simone, you sound so or... fucking ill i know i'm sorry it, is it really bad, bad to hear no it, it's fine it's just it's it, it just i'm entirely entirely out of concern for you oh no it's weird like obviously it is the cough is terrible and the post nasal drip is bad um <coughs> when i went to the doctor today she referred to me as obviously sick uh, which is very funny whoa, uh, but like whoa, physically whoa. i feel fine wow. so well whoops a, there whoa that was you're a really big falling, fall huh? i'm okay though i had a belay <laughs> so you're high key sick but that's like that's like the difference between like high key and low key sick obviously oh yeah sick and subtly sick absolutely i am high key sick Mm -hmm. Uh, vibes are rancid over here. Rancid. Mm -hmm. Woo! Drippy. Vibes are wet. <laughs> Drippy, mucusy. Yeah. Plenty. Oh my god. Um, I'm at Adam JP. So in flex, I've got. He probably shouldn't be in flex. He probably deserves to be. No. Oh yeah, actually, no. He he's right. I've got Ayuk, Brandon Ayuk from the 49ers. Um, and I, I just dropped, I had a, I had Goddard as my tight end and then he got injured. So I put Cole Kmet in there last week, but I just dropped him for, um, Evan Ingram from the Jaguars. I know I'm you're doing this like for a... chat's benefit, but you could be making up these names and none of us I would know. know. I know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am having a, uh, sort of hate hate relationship with Jalen Waddle from the D Miami Dolphins who <coughs> like will play really really well when he's on my bench and then I'll be like Waddle you're doing so great the Dolphins are fine come on come on to the main team and then he will just eat shit he will just go out there and he will eat shit and I am <laughs> but I can't drop him purpose. Yeah. See, I get this is the thing that's most appealing about this is that like it's like an RPG where they have all these stats and they're supposed to function this way. And it's not even random events that make them function. A real person goes out there and they're like Yeah. This is completely out of your control. It's funny to me, but like I like I mean I I was going to say that I skipped out on this cuz I'm already playing too many games that are basically just looking at numbers go up. Um but I mean I, I recommend this one cuz you don't <laughs> You don't need to put that much time into it every week. Yeah. Um, mm. Rainy games. Jalen Hurts uh, is so one one of the the teams in our um, ba -ba 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 league is uh, Joshua Rivera's Jalen Hurts myself today, um, which is very good. I'm Formula Ball. That's my team. All right, let me get some of these little guys. I don't know if I can. Okay, go, go, go. Is there anywhere that like <laughs> things like crop yields are very for various farms are publicly reported on a regular basis? I was just thinking it'd be really fun to do fantasy farming. Oh, so, that's like, such a oh, good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. there are there are the f what the futures. There's like futures trading. I bet that's unfortunately close to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't want it to be based on any sort of speculation. Oh. I want it to be based on like points, right? Like how how, how many how these mm -hmm. farmers are moving the ball down the field. Um. <laughs> so you want. And then you have to, you have to look at things like weather. Mm. You know, weather. Yeah, pattern. like I want to be looking at like, oh mm, man, I don't, you know. 
Johnson is uh, uh, he's got a good situation, you know, in the Fertile Crescent there, but his yields from from last season were kind of weak. Uh, Kier, we were we were just talking about that actually about how um, Simone had made a TikTok a long, long time ago. Like I feel like it was like probably a year ago, maybe. Um, yeah. About oh, how about they should add racing oh. car dudes into Fortnite. And now it's it's here, so it's, it's happening. Up. Crazy. Incepted. Good job. Okay, I forgot. <clears throat> my little guy can use his power to like freeze these guys in place for a short time. <laughs> cool. um, but that's not really helping me because they're not close enough together right now. Oh, okay. Okay, reach down. <laughs> oh my gosh. up all my stamina. No. No. No, go back up. Okay, just put that down. There we go. God. Nightbot is so real. Nightbot would never lie to us. The stream is not presented by that company. Oh my god. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry. I might need to go get my water <laughs> that I left in the other room. So, uh, is your brain and body on uh, Perry time right now? Has that Not worked? really, because I never really, like, except for the first couple days that I spent with my dad, I didn't really make the uh, shift. Okay. Oh, did you guys not talk about the new non live video? <laughs> uh, I mean, we talked about the fact that it, we're, we're debuting it again while live streaming. Oh, yeah. cool. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Um, um, but yeah, just because we were like staying up so late and then getting up so early, I never really was on Paris time proper, uh, <laughs> which is good. <coughs> and then last time, like I flew back yesterday afternoon Paris time. I got here around 530. So I was able to just like stay up. Watch my flea bag season two, and I went to bed around 10 and I slept like I was dead <laughs> <coughs> until I got up this morning. So it, it would end up being a good, uh, well timed flight, as it were. So my rope does have an, a length to it, it slowly changes from gray to um, yellow to red. Um, I haven't gotten too close to the length though, so I've been okay. Is this where I'm trying to go? Okay, that's where I'm trying to go. Walk along here. Oh, that was a tall one. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I can talk about that. We made a video about Armored Core, me and Pat. Um, specifically, it's about the gatekeeping boss, Balteus. Um... <laughs> which you have to fight at the end of the first chapter. And it's it's kind of similar a little bit to Pat's video about Margit and, um, what was that other guy? What was that other boss? The Zhang Lian. Zhang Lian. Um, because they're all kind of like in a similar category of gatekeeping boss, a skill check to see if you've learned some important lesson in the game. Um, and so yeah, the video is exploring what is it Voltaire is trying to teach you in the game, Armored Core 6 specifically, and it's a chance for me and Pat to talk about how cool that game is, because it's a very good game. It is game. such a fucking cool game. We would make, um, we were working on it, and some of us would cap some footage, and, or some of us, one of us would cap some, and anytime we, like, were just talking about the game in Slack, it was just like, I want to play this now. Yeah. <laughs> just watching footage of it, it just is a game you look at it and you want to start playing it again. I want to, um, Keep an eye out for like sales on the physical copies or digital copies on PlayStation. Ooh, because hang on, I'm getting a that. phone call. I'll be right back. Right. Yep, I got that. I got that new TV a couple, like a month or two ago, and I mm -hmm. want to see it on the, the big, the big OLED. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just played played on PC, which is good, and it was kind of cool for the. Uh, if I ever want to get into more downloading all the <laughs> skins that people have been making. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I was watching a really cool. Uh, first of all, all of your uh, mechs in the video are really cool. Oh, uh, thank you. Not just the ones that you're testing, but I was looking at some of your designs and they're. I really like the big dual shoulder cannon thing you were running. Um, was that radi Radiance, the one I fought against the worm? Yes. Um, uh, uh, yeah, oh they're no. also cool. Makes me want to get in there and design some more. That was kind of pointless. Oh, no. Whew. Ah, I'm stuck. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. No, don't waste that. Damn it. Alright. Yeah, this I have I have definitely noticed coming back to this game that this is definitely the fourth chapter, because it's a lot harder than it is earlier on. Um Do you think it becomes more satisfying the harder it gets, or do you think it was more satisfying earlier on? Um, I mean, there were some really pretty moments earlier on where, the, like, especially, like we mentioned, the music is very good. There's some moments that like kind of queue up with the music that are just beautiful mm -hmm. early uh, on in the game. But I'm still enjoying the skill of this because it's 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 something I was like hoping for as earlier on. I was like, these puzzles are easy, and then once it started actually making me contend with more interesting geometry and so I'm just going back to the bottom because that was a weird way to fall because uh, I was running out of stamina um, okay keep this oh I should just go up and then I'm definitely going to prop my belay after I hop this Put that down. Okay, here we go. Hot. Perfect. Oh, I guess I should have looked first to see if those guys were there. Come on. Oh shit, I gotta go over there. Okay, so this is lucky. This, these things actually are like a place you can recharge your stamina oh and reset all your blaze like midway through a climb, so. I love a good recharge. Oh. Ooh, nice fun. I actually did used to rock climb um, a few years ago. Oh yeah. Um, so that, I think that also partially made this satisfying. Is like, yeah, this really does do some things mm -hmm. to make it feel like real rock climbing, or at least the kind you would do in a gym. Um, like these are literally like popping out little handholds that kind of look like the ones you would use in a gym. Um, they're just organic. Yeah. Um, and the uh, like, I, I was. I enjoyed it, and uh, I was also a little bad at it because I tried to use my hands way too much. A, a, a skill of rock climbing is finding the best way to distribute um, your strength as much as you can, honestly, through your legs because you just have a lot more res of a reserve there. Um, but so your arms aren't getting as tired, and if you can like push yourself over something instead of pulling yourself up it, you're going to just like use a lot less energy. Um, but I have a fairly light frame, so I was able to do a lot of just lifting myself out of situations by climbing. But I kind of reached a, a wall in my skill, I felt, because I wasn't ever very good with using my legs to, in effective ways to climb. Yeah. So. It seems really hard. It's, it's, it's frankly not, especially if you can do a gym with like low difficulty, like beginner's climbs. It's super fun. Like it was the only kind of working out at a gym I ever kept up with because I liked doing it. Right. Um, so uh, if you have a gym that's you know fairly affordable, I'd, I'd recommend it. Especially if you could get a group together, because then you can belay each other. Um, mm -hmm. Our gym only had a couple auto belays you could do by yourself, but 
One of my friends has a rock climbing gym membership. Mm -hmm. And they said you can go there. The first time you go is free. So I, rock climbing is on my, on my plans. Nice. Yeah, that'll be, that that'll be fun. I, I, I have a lot of friends who'll get like into it, into it for a while. Um, and it doesn't seem like the kind of sport fixation that ends when they get injured, right? It's like, <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's not like, oh yeah, I liked doing this until I you know, blew my neck out or something. <laughs> yeah, my, it's yeah. relatively low impact. But yeah, but I had body limitations that were unrelated to the fact I was rock climbing that made me have to discontinue it. But I, I kept doing it for as long as I could and, and definitely enjoyed it. Um, and it was not... Um, same with some other friends I know, I think partly because, like, again, when there's a big group going there fairly regularly, it was pretty easy to depend on someone to be there to belay you. Mm -hmm. But once fewer and fewer people were going as a group, it made it harder. But And, and some people weren't in the neighborhood, didn't live in that neighborhood anymore. But, um... And hey, pliable head. Up, Welcome and thank you. The, um... You, you, you don't have to invest too much in it either. I mean, you have to buy the, like harness and the shoes um mm -hmm. probably worth investing in a chalk bag but a lot of the times that and and, and that's not that expensive either but yeah those I, are cheap you definitely I, I want one of those for the gym once actually um <laughs> <laughs> uh, where am i going can i slide through here oh it's a tiny okay Ooh, getting wow, this stuff. casual gamer says, been climbing three days a week <gasps> before work for like the past four months. Oh, that's cool. Oh, before work, wow. I feel like I would, t some, I feel like I would tire myself up, out. But I know some people like get energy from working out in the morning. That's what they tell you. Yeah. I'm gonna hate it when it turns out they're right. When I finally get up to the The only time I could ever manage that was when I had a dorm in college for a brief period that had a gym mm -hmm. in it. Oh damn! I, it was because it was I was actually in New York City when I was doing an internship, and I found a dorm that was like open to students or interns. Um, and I had a gym in it. <gasps> oh, I'm not managing. Yeah, Greg, I've been waking up at uh, around seven since I got to, since I moved across the coast, and it is, it feels great to, you know, essentially wrap up with your day around three or four and then honestly it freaks me out sometimes if i like take a nap after work and i wake up and it's like 5 p.m and i'm like what the hell do i do now <laughs> <laughs> what am i trying to do here? oh i'm just trying to fall Mr. Blobby. <laughs> Mr. Blobby. <laughs> I love the jellyfish in here. This is so cool. Oof, this is going to be... I guess this is... So, okay, the one other really good rock climbing game I have played, actually, like realistic rock climbing game, is a VR game called The Climb. Um, right. Made by Crytek, right? Yeah, yeah. It was weirdly, yeah, Crytek. And they, I think they made even a sequel. Um, and it is a VR game that does a trick that works really well for avoiding nausea, wherein you kind of move the world around you, 
by which I mean in this rock climbing game, if you grabbed onto a wall, it wasn't that you were pulling yourself up, it's that you kind of like yanked the world and the video game and moved it below you. Like that, that's your perspective. And that doesn't nauseate you because your brain is like, okay, my arm did, like it, somehow it like makes the connection between the movement. Oh. Um, so it's a very visceral, realistic feeling, almost kind of gives you vertigo game in these realistic rock climbing environments that feels very rock climbing. Like you're just, you know, hand, hand to hand. You're doing these jumps sometimes. Um, it's, it's quite good. Now that I got all this space behind me, I am a... Uh, oh, gosh, uh, stiff. I think today, actually, my cable should be arriving so I can see if I can get VR running here in my studio office oh, space. Yeah, I, I downloaded, um... Did you play the, what was it, Ready at Dawn game? The robot spaceship... It's like the other really good um, VR game, I think Oculus made uh, or published. Oh, what's it called? The, the the one where you shoot a bunch of robots? No, it's where you're you're like on a spaceship with a robot, and it actually kind of uses similar controls to the climb. That's why I was bringing it up. And, uh, no, no, never played that. Um, I gotta get the name of that because that's the be That's the other besides Half Life, Alex. It's the most like. This is a full fucking ass game <laughs> in Maiden yeah. VR, and like doesn't feel limited by it. Um, and you also move the same way, kinda. You you grab onto things and move the same way when you need to. Otherwise, you're in zero g. And when you're uh, flying cool, and cool, cool. floating around, you have jets on your two like wrists, and it oh. works really well to directionally yeah. fly around in. So that was that was yeah, also so one that you I, I that one has a little nausea, unfortunately. But for me at least, it's just I can't play for too long. Um, there's a sequel though, and I need to get back to that because I really liked the first one. It's a very good, fun story to like experience in VR. <laughs> Scale is a cool thing in VR. Um, just want to make it clear to Simone in case she has talked to any point in the last ten minutes that she's still muted. Mm. That's why we're ignoring you. Um, good. <laughs> Gang, we gotta play this this new Twitch meta game, because uh, it what looks so it? fucking funny. Um, oh, the what's the retroy one you posted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, something dangerous, mm. ink or something. I forgot the name of it already. Where we we have uh, to like find shit and bring it back. With, yes. And there's monsters. <laughs> you go on procedurally generated planets and you have to try to harvest the scrap on them there's all sorts of different weird monsters that will come and chase you around that yes. sounds fun yeah yes 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 uh, twitch meta game ryan in it like it is cur the current as they say twitch meta it is extremely popular on twitch right now in a way that like something like amogus or uh you know any of those games that suddenly become the game whether it's for a couple of weeks or a couple of years. Lethal Company, thank you. Trial of Might, not a dangerous ink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dangerous. Oh, yeah, didn't it? We played a game called, like, Deceive Ink. Right? Deceive Ink. Yep. That was a Deceive thing. Ink. That, that was, was like the hidden roll sort of runaround yeah. game. That was this year. That was this year. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm imagining rock climbing with something like this, though, <laughs> with like little uh, things you have to grab that are constantly like moving. That would that would be cool. I will say I've also watched um, fucking competitive rock climbing, um, where they have to basically like go up a wall as fast as possible. And oh, when those you, are crazy. Yeah, when you know a little bit about rock climbing and you watch someone do that, and it's just like, it's like superhero shit, like parkour, it's just ridiculous.
I also, if you go to a, a rock climbing gym, they'll they'll usually have like rock climbing with a belay like in this, but they'll also be bouldering, which is just like no harness, but not as high, and you just fall onto big pads on the. F I I tried that a couple times, and I didn't like falling even from like a couple feet. So I stopped I love doing that. Falling. So maybe I'm you'll enjoy that. Fan. I had a couple friends who also did like to boulder some, but it was the not joy for me. of falling. I love to fall onto things and off of things. I'm as long scared. as there's a safe I'm place to land. I'm scared of heights, even if like it's something safe, where it's like, oh, this is like, like, like you know the thing in I think Chicago where you go up really high, and it's like glass, and you just get to look straight down. And oh you just yeah. Think about the city, even though that's safe. It, Ooh, my anxiety no, that during that. Out. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, you know, if you, what about that thing at the Grand Canyon, the, like, big loop that's all no, no. glass bottom and just extends out over it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not for me. Yeah. It's like I watched some of that, um... I guess this is a different thing, but it's about glass. <laughs> I watched that big, um, the jaw, the shark movie, the second one. Ooh, the um, Meg 2? Yeah. Not as good as the first the Meg one. 1. Yeah, Meg 1 okay. is pretty fun. Dang fun, actually. Because uh, it's just so stupid and, and in like good ways. And this one feels stupid in a lot of money ways. Because um, they had so much more money this time. Uh, damn it. Oh, oh, there's stuff on this wall I can just hit. Okay, that's easier. Um, but there's this big underwater research lab that's fucking all glass. And I'm just like, oh, okay, well... <laughs> I wonder what's going to happen here at some point in the movie. Because we still build giant deep sea bases out of entirely glass. I know it was probably like super glass, but whatever. It was just... I mean, there's a lot of dumb things in that movie, so I'm choosing to be so selectively outraged here, but... Um, yeah. Uh, I also watched Kroll for the oh, first time. Oh, how is that? <laughs> Great, great. I mean, no, not great. It's great. <laughs> great. No, actually. Um, it's, got, it's got a lot of really, really, really cool visual design. Mm -hmm. Like the, the enemy's mm -hmm. fortress in it. It looks like... The only way I can describe this is like, it looks like the inside of an ear. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's just like weird winding canals and stuff. Very, very cool design. Um, mm -hmm. But like structure and, and script wise, it's very boring. But there's some really cool visual effects and goofy shit in it. It's <laughs> not a good movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I found. Oh, I have to find these. You find these seashells every once in a while, so. And it's just sounds of the people who live there. Trilo, yeah, uh, it's not that great, but. So it was interesting you were bringing up how good the, the little noises were, and I forgot that it had these little segments where you literally just pause for a sec and listen to the sounds of the people who used to live there. Um, so, that's a neat game. Um, what is this? Some more stuff that somebody wrote. Yes, give me that lore. I want the lore, I'm gonna read it later. Thank you. Um, so I have been re-watching a lot of Star Trek. I feel like I've said this. And I just finished Next Generation. And I didn't realize that, like, Next Generation, the c series finished, and then they started making movies. And for some reason, I thought at least a couple of those had come out at, like while the show was airing. But... Uh And I watched Star Trek I, after I watched um, Star Trek Generations, the movie, um, which is the one that has Kirk in it. Um, yes. And just really just kind of feels like a, you know, just an episode of Next Generation. <laughs> the villain in it, just like fighting on this like 
big, I don't know, rock in the desert. Um, but it, um, it has at the beginning uh, the captain of the second ever Enterprise or something. Fucking, I, I guess you won't appreciate this, Pat, but it, Connor from Succession, the like most doofus of the four doofus ch man children, uh, adult children in Succession, is the captain of a fucking Star Trek ship briefly <laughs> in that movie. And it's so funny because he is such an idiot. And it's like, how did this guy become captain? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, I think he's key. I, uh, it was very funny to me to like, what the fuck is this guy doing here? He doesn't belong in a starship. I think it's the first and maybe only Star Trek movie I, I saw until the J.J. Uh, Abrams remakes was the one that had like a really young Tom Hardy playing like a weird clone of, oh. uh, of Patrick Stewart's character. Okay, so now, yeah, that's the thing is now I'm going to go through and actually rewatch all the Star Trek gen uh, next TNG movies. So I got yeah. Insurrection, First Contact. I know First Contact is considered to be one of the best Star Trek movies, and I'm excited to rewatch that one, because I remember liking it even having never watched all of Star Trek Generations before. Um, honestly, that was another thing rewatching the series kind of made me realize, is like, the Borg are in a couple episodes, and that's it. Yeah. They're very threatening when they're there for a couple episodes, and then they kind of deal with it. And I didn't realize they just sort of dealt with it for pretty much good as far as the TV show is concerned and then they come back for the movies and shit but I mean the cube was just so good too good enough to use Q? The cube? Or the, the cube oh no yeah that too <laughs> I was going to say Q is, seems like a bigger thing than Borg in Next Generation and now I understand what Q is I never fully understood what the fuck Q was doing in the show but um Okay, first contact became before insurrection. Thank you, Lance. Half of DS9 came up before first contact. Interesting. Okay. Oh, they're all over Voyager. Interesting. That makes more sense because they're in that quadrant. Okay, yeah, that's probably why they, they saved it more for that series. That's actually a series I don't think I've seen a single episode of, so at some point um, my wife and I want to go through that one. But I've already watched, I've already done my DS9 watch through, so. Um. Does anyone else, whenever they see the word like Q or queuing, read it in their head as queeing? Yeah. Que <laughs> because I still do. <laughs> Let me get in the queue. Yeah, yeah, I, que I, no, I don't. <laughs> Damn it. I don't say it out loud anymore, but I do say it in my head sometimes. I think I. I think I grew up with enough British people in my life to, to know about mm. what that was all about. British people. British people. Queen. Queen. You mean what that queen. was all about? All no, that's Canadian. Well, Sorry. Depends on where you're from. Yeah, in Maine. <laughs> oh, no. Or, or if you're north of, north north of Birmingham, of yeah. Birmingham, maybe. yeah. A boot. To wall run. Sometimes wall running doesn't Quay work the way I want it to. Quay way. Quay way is good too. Yeah. Right, I can do this. Damn. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Is there an easier way? Actually, I can release this and make a better position. So yeah, this is literally where you have to start. It's almost a little bit puzzly because I'm thinking about it's like the best position for my belay so I can get over here. There we go. And then up here, probably put another one down for safety. And then, let's see. Come on. Let me. Okay. Ooh, this looks interesting. This looks like it could be a big deal. Oh, yeah, this. Okay, these are always good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I love the power of a, a nice organ. A good arpeggiated thing. I guess I should say at this point that this is near the end of the game. It's not the end of the game by any means, but so this could have spoilers if you really care about that. He's such a good little guy. Yeah, those are the same little things that have helped me like do my super jumps, so of them are lifting me up. It's cool. Outside again, that'll be cool. I really want people to see the outside because that's uh, this has like been the only chapter that's been inside like this for the most part. I guess the first is a little bit in and out. Uh, oh, it sounds windy. That could make things. Yeah, this actually looks quite different from the other outside area. This is, I feel like it's totally going to affect me when I like try to swing. Uh, yep. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh, the wind sucks. will tell me which way it's going. It's going up right now. That's wild. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I know Game Awards is the biggest thing, but I can't, I don't feel like I even saw this game on many of the uh, nominations, and that, that's a shame, because it, it frankly is like one of, it, it might be in my top ten this year, like, it's just such a pleasure to play, and I've been skipping a lot of the, like, things that makes the story and environment and stuff, like, a really intriguing design and narrative, um, I'm kind of glossing over and skipping, but, like, I think it's on Game Pass also, so check it out if you can there. Get, give me that wind. I saw it blowing the other way. Come on. Yes. Yes. Haha, <sighs> -ha, that was cool. Hello. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. What did I miss? We got to uh, outside the cave. Cool, cool oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice ah. music. No. Oh, no, this is my chance. Oh, chance. I missed Pliable Head. Yeah, well, I missed Pliable Head. I missed Ply. Oh, li little jellyfish. Uh, are you glad to be back in New York, Snow? I. Uh, well. Oof. <laughs> That's a lot of hesitation. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Paris is a fantasy world that I can't live in forever, so <laughs> of course I'm glad to be back in New York. However, yeah. I'm in the come down right now. Oh, I, this does look the most like the Pacific Northwest of the places that we've seen so far. Thank it's you, very Light. true, yeah. That's an interesting thing to note. The Pacific Northwest. Yes, and how it looks like that place. 
love looking at places that look like the Pacific Northwest. Gosh, I love climbing in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know if you were here. Someone when I was describing it, but it's kind of like a alternating triggers with for my hands sort of thing. Oh, cool! So it just flows and feels very good and natural. But I'm all. But but not at all like an automatic thing. It's not at all like Assassin's Creed style climbing. Like I am yeah. definitely have intention through everything You're I'm choosing. doing, and I'm feeling right. very in control of it. That's neat. And I got a very <laughs> physicsy string. We got pinwheels? Hell yeah. Easy. I love how he sits in your little backpack. <laughs> oh, I guess I go up now. Alright. Okay. Uh, remind me, I guess, in a little bit here, maybe. Um, I do want to watch the Madame Web trailer because I have not seen it. Oh hell yeah! Madame Web. Madame Web. <laughs> um. What was the other thing? I don't. I guess I have no attachment to Avatar, so if people want to watch that one, we can. But. Oh yes, yes. I checked to make sure my local theater was showing it. I'm definitely gonna go see that. Apparently, it's real good. Yes. Oh my god! Too much of a run. Oh my god! What the fuck? No! Oh no! Oh no! No! I did not add extra belays. That was a bad mistake on my part. <coughs> wow, wowzers. Always oh, that Astro Belays, Clayton! Ugh, I could have. Right. Oh, wait, actually, since I'm here, I can, I can recharge. Uh, wait, Simone, what are your thoughts and inclinations about seeing Napoleon? I think I do. I do want to see it in theaters, honestly. Um, even though it is three million hours long. Uh, I think it's only a two and a half hour cut in theaters. Oh, well, that's good news. Which seems a little um, absurd to me, but um, apparently there'll be a special <laughs> four-hour cut. Love it. The trailer looked like garbage, but that kind of makes really, me Really? I enjoyed I good. enjoyed the trailers. Who directed this one? Ridley it's Scott. A, yeah, it's How is he movie. directing so many movies so quickly? I don't know. It's like big, I mean, it's a very, big It was a very tra trailer trailer. It, it was, and that's what I enjoyed about it. Like, the fucking trailer I Napoleon. <laughs> yeah. uh, something about that I really enjoyed. Turned him into a trailer. They turned him into a, just a regular <laughs> old movie trailer. Oh fuck! This is where I fucked it up. I can't put down right, my belay. That's why. Put down your belay. I can't. I realize that's why I didn't. Is because I can't. I'm on a big pinwheel. Yeah, I know. I guess I could get. Well, no, I'm just gonna try it. Okay, I did it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I want to see Napoleon, but I'm a little, little disappointed. It's, it's, you know, I'm only getting two and a half hours for my money. I got so much value from seeing uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, have we talked about that yet? I don't know if we have. I don't think you have. Yeah. I would oh love my to hear about God. It. Uh... I cinema. love it. Cinema. That was cinema. How long is it? Three and, three and a half hours. Half. That was like three and twenty or something. Yeah, three and change. Um. That we uh, I don't know when you saw it, Clayton, but we <coughs> we booked. We saw it at a mat at the Alamo Draft House in downtown Manhattan. I have never oh. been more glad that I saw a mat name in my life. It was started at like <laughs> ten thirty in the morning. <laughs> we got out of there at like two. Just between, you know, the commercials and going to the bathroom after the movie and everything. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I had to, like, run home to get my freaking 
I think I made margarita bars that day for the Mexican Grand Prix and then go back to Brooklyn <laughs> to watch the Grand Prix. It was a crazy day. Um, it was interesting because I, I, there were, I could see the parts that I personally would, hey, 420 Blaze It, have shortened. Like, I felt like the entire investigation part at the end was a little long, um, especially considering, hey, we just saw all this happen. However, <laughs> I thought it was just fucking fantastic and moved so briskly for how long it was. And, like, you know, just kind of moving or looking at the screen being like, wow, it, images. Yeah. Look at these images. Is it not enough to see beautiful people huge <laughs> on the ah. screen. <laughs> I'm always I love this. images. Uh, and sounds. I've been thinking about that too. Images oh, and there's sounds. Oh, there's hella sounds in this images movie. Images and sounds. The, the um, Leo is so fucking stupid. It's, he it's, in, it's so fucking stupid. The worst. A horrible, <laughs> stupid man and so wet and so dumb and so <laughs> miserable. It's great to watch. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it, his, it, it, there, there's this one scene specifically where um, De Niro just says to him, <laughs> look, at, look at me like anything I'm saying to you makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> because Leo is just giving him his his stupidest face of the entire movie, which is saying a lot. And so yep. he sa De Niro says what we're all thinking. <laughs> yeah. Just look like anything that's saying sounds like something you understand. <laughs> it's it's so good. That's so funny. It's really one of the things I was like thinking about, just like given Scorsese's filmography with like yes. Games yeah. of New York and Goodfellas and Taxi Driver is like it, he and he may have done this before because um, i haven't seen every movie that he's made but he has certainly in this case made a movie about people who are terrible but unlike those mm -hmm. movies i don't think there's anyone who's going to watch this and like come away thinking they're cool glorifying <laughs> yeah. these characters like they do with the main character in taxi driver like feeling like uh, maybe he was actually kind of cool actually maybe he had misunderstood no, they're so or, yeah. pathetic they're so stupid they're so greedy they're so base um, they're so, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, <coughs> I mean, they're, they're villain. Yeah, yeah, despicable and villainous in a way that not even, like, you, yeah, his other movies don't, I feel like, don't often touch on. Um, yeah, yeah. Even when they're clearly, like, in the wrong. Here, it's just, yeah, it's astonishing. Um, yeah. so obviously important to see for that reason, um, because it happened. Uh, Go and on for, sorry. <laughs> huh? Can you continue talking, Clayton? Yeah. Go on for, can you tell us more about those pants? What pants? Wait. No, I'm, oh. I'm talking to Galumfer, not you. Yeah. Uh, Clayton, go on. No, no, no. I'm, I, this is, I am curious about this. <laughs> hey, Clayton, we're having a private conversation with Galumfer in our Twitch stream chat with uh -huh. 87 viewers. So can you, like, give us a second, please? We're talking to someone. <laughs> Um, uh, but yeah, yeah. <coughs> I I was very excited when I because I, I remember you mentioning that uh, scene to me before Clayton, and I was yes. very excited when I got to see it in the theater. Oh my god! With the big beautiful people on the big beautiful with screen. Big faces. Yeah, big faces. huge. Uh, the other, it, I feel like in some ways the closest per se or uh, yes, Scorsese's has gotten to this pro or I guess main character, yes. Uh, is uh, King of Comedy. Um, oh, yeah. Have you ever seen that one? I haven't seen that one. So it only saw That's it. one that was a big inspiration for the Joker. The Joker film, yes. So I saw this. And the Joker's um, a cool guy that we all know and love and respect. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, saw, I saw that one this, uh, this um, summer with my wife and... Um, it was funny because we saw it, and the whole thing is it is that De Niro's the main character, but he's a total schmuck loser, um, yeah. and the prota like the main character, the protagonist in the sense, but is just totally in the wrong and is delusional. Um, and she was just like, he looked exactly like my dad when he in the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, particularly for this one suit he was wearing in one scene. Um, but yeah, that that's I, I enjoyed that movie. King King of Comedy is a good one, kind of overlooked in his filmography. Okay, what am I doing here? Let's see. Okay. Can I? Yeah. Oh no. Wow. 
why. <laughs> well, I needed to recharge my stamina. Okay, let's try that again. Um, I have not seen the Joker, though, but, like, enough people in my life who I trust have said that they like that movie, so I feel like at some point I do need to see it. Especially because I am honestly looking forward to the, the sequel that's a musical. I just, that sounds like such a baffling thing, I need to see it. No, it is not. Actually, yeah. It, I mean, it's going to be... If they're going to do a big swing like that, I'm honestly awful. like, you know what, I'll, yeah. I'll validate this. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, Reggie, that, that's a great news. I, I, I'm excited. Yes. 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 I feel like I was talking about this potentially on a stream recently about how hard that we movie were. is yeah. to see right now. Yep. But I am buying that 4K. Um, probably see it in theaters too. You know, you know, it's a, a, a fun film, but like not a great film. <laughs> uh, Escape, Escape from New York. After I played the Cyberpunk expansion, I, I went back and I watched Escape from New York again, and it's just like visually, it's it's, it's such a great vibes movie. But like beyond that, it's just kind of a guy running around fucking up a lot. <laughs> but acting cool I love the whole time. He. <laughs> 1980s Kurt Russell is like yes. the pinnacle of human of human it's like I enjoy that that he is just kind of fucking up a lot but it doesn't it still tries to act like he's real cool versus mm -hmm. Big Trouble in Little China which is like well yeah he's an idiot and it's in on the yeah. joke that movie is so fun yeah I feel like I heard um, people keep telling me, yeah, that the um, Godzilla TV show with Kurt Russell in it is really good. Um, I'm hearing really? this as well. Yeah. So. I have never heard of this before. Monarch. Okay. So on gonna, Apple TV. On <coughs> Apple's TV. Probably going to try that because once I, once I wrap up Foundation. I think the really important thing for everyone to do right now is go to my Instagram and look at my brother's engagement photos. Um, mm -hmm. Because he and his fiance are so cute. I'm going. I'm going. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're so I can't cute. endorse Aww. their marriage, so I will not be looking for photographs. Oh yeah, I know that you have objections. You can't endorse it? Why? I, I can't condone this, 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 this union. Yeah. He's against I don't know, it. I'm just pretending to have a <laughs> what, is it the French marrying? <laughs> what's, what's wrong here? <laughs> Pat is actually getting ready to stand up at the wedding and object. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is so cute. Aren't they so <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie, I've always... I think I, I've like jokingly in the past thought of like, like you know those like pokeball, pokeball, uh, ring holding yeah. things. Yeah. Like people do proposals with that or whatever. <laughs> I used to think, oh ha ha, that'd be so cute, that'd be so fun. But now I'm like, man, what if? What you if? Know? Mm -hmm. Cause like, oh an gosh. engagement, it's serious, but it's not that serious. Like I feel like it'd be fun to have a whimsical whimsical proposal and proposal photos with like Pokemon. A silly little engagement. A silly little yeah, engagement. Yeah, yeah. Getting engaged just for kicks and giggles. <laughs> you let me Understood. Marry <laughs> <laughs> So fucking limited. <laughs> Wimby. 
I love these um, crevices you sometimes climb up because when a route at my climbing gym had something like this, it was always the most fun thing to climb because it's so easy. <laughs> It's so easy to wedge yourself in there and just kind of use that for leverage. Oh, it's so windy. Oh, it's using up my stamina. That's what's happening. I should probably put another one of these down. Oh, that's crazy. Someone on Reddit asking if they could put a miniature replica of a Pokemon game if that is into their engagement ring. Oh my god, that would be crazy. Test? What? What? Hawkers indeed, I thought. <coughs> so, that's that's reaction. That. That's, so I, I saw, I, I read the whole, like, the Doom pregnancy test thing. What? Um, what? So, oh no, I just oh. ran out of stamina. Um, but here's the thing with that. So those electronic pregnancy tests are okay. just standard pregnancy tests with a little camera and computer chip in it that looks at the result for you and then digitally says yes or no. So it is, it is, there's a tiny screen in them with a camera. So it has that much of a computer chip in it. And so they can just use that to bootstrap uh, do into. But when I found that out, I was mostly just like, oh, so the, <laughs> the digital pregnancy test is just, it's the same thing. <laughs> It, it really is so fucking windy. Uh, I'm almost there. Come on, pull yourself up. There we go. Escaped the wind, nice. Yep. Oh, this, this is interesting. I'm so excited for Mario RPG to be out tomorrow. <gasps> oh, no. Ooh. No, wait, have you gotten Wonder? Yes, Wonder is great, too. Okay, we should probably stream that. <laughs> Especially if a couple yeah, more of us could get it. Can you play it multiplayer online? Uh, yeah, but the multiplayer's not really good, though. It's goofy. <laughs> I got. I, I mean, played some at a friend's really house. Each other. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. We were just like running along and all trying to do it at the same time. Yeah, um, that's fun still. Yeah. Uh, the the hard levels in that game are very fun and hard. Mm -hmm. Yay! Good music again. This is a motif that they're riffing on. <laughs> what was? I feel like I saw a really good like uh, blue ski, blue sky, or something uh, message that was like, um, <coughs> "Oh no, what's what's going on here? You're, I hear your lead motif merging with the antagonists." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry that this is kind of revealing something, but there are sky whales. I love a sky whale. Oh, the little guy is so excited by the big guy. My guess is he's like a baby They're one, friends. but I don't know. Oh, he's a baby one. Oh, he's a baby oh, wheel. So curious.
what? I'm going into the sky? Well, I have a hat, I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll just try to climb the sky whale. Wait, is this Avatar 3? No. <laughs> the little guy is a baby one. That's crazy. Oh, okay, it's back crazy. to me again. It went from cut screen and now it's gameplay. You're swinging on a sky whale. That's, that's a crazy a a adult to baby size difference. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Wait. Okay. That's still, I feel like that's still crazy to lump for. Difference. <laughs> oh, yeah, little guy. <laughs> <coughs> Hell yeah. Love that. Love that. <gasps> Damn, this Beautiful. is a tall tower. <laughs> I didn't even get halfway up. Gotta see the sunglasses, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Isn't the fucking planet at the top of this tower? <laughs> Sweep. This is really how Mount Everest was first climbed. What? <coughs> Fuck yeah. Scrub that whale. <laughs> oh, why do oh, you? No. Hey, wait a minute. Is oh, he okay? No. Hey. Hey. That seemed like a hard landing. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, for wouldn't you like to like good. take a sponge or a brush and like scrub that whale's big bumps? <laughs> <laughs> Power simulator extras. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Yeah, there that you go. Way. That's the crossover. That's the croissant. Oh, that's the croissant. Fuck. That's the crossover I've been waiting for. Oh. Take a little toothbrush. Get into those protrusions. I guess he's okay. Well, do you, I don't know. Do we know that yet? He's alive. <laughs> okay. He's eyeball. What I'm alive. Yeah. I wouldn't describe myself as okay. <laughs> the, the baby seems okay. No, actually, I don't know. I'm just holding it now instead of it being in my pouch. Oh, no. What's wrong with baby? Baby! <laughs> What's wrong with baby? No, we're in the snow. Is it just too high for them? Oh, Baby's yeah. gonna be cold. He's cold. BB is cold. Listen, Clayton, I'm I'm gonna need you to run faster. Baby is cold. <laughs> We're running out of time. Um, did anybody see that the chapter name was like Sasaiji? What? This is a G. Oh yeah, Sony put it there. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm googling it. Okay. Plus, I feel like I've learned this before. Opposition. Okay. A conjunction or opposition, especially of the moon with the sun. A pair of connected oh. or corresponding things. We got this thing up there, which kind of 
I don't know, it looks like water maybe? Should be very interesting. Um, man, I love me a monolith. Oh yeah, uh, it is. Oh, it's got big sky whales on it. it. We gonna climb it? I think I'm gonna climb it. No, he's like, uh, oh, synergy, but whales. opposite. Wow. <coughs> Thank you, Ryan. Constellations. Ooh. Neat. I'm gonna look at your YouTube video. I'm gonna look at the mid IQ score. That's like Sizzigy. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. So wait, oh, can I... Do I go inside or outside? Oh yeah. What do I do? How can I climb? I'm holding the baby! <laughs> <laughs> you can't climb while holding baby. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. I think Pl Plus Greg said hold the baby in your mouth. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. That works. Oh, Pop okay. that whole thing in there. It's just sleeping in there. Oh. <laughs> I actually made a different thing for him to sleep in there. He's just a little nugget. Yeah. Oh, I activated yeah. it. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I should just f finish the game or we should pause at this point, watch a couple trailers, and let people finish the game for themselves uh, if they want to play it. At the end? I think I think chapter six is definitely the end, and I bet the p top of this tower is the end of the game. It's gotta be. It's gotta yeah. be. Yeah. I so, can't imagine how it gets. Like, will you more save the baby? Only you can find out by playing this game or watching it on YouTube. But. Um, Everyone kind of okay. Three people kind of want to know what's gonna happen. I think we to the baby. should finish it. I think we should finish it. Cause, yeah. I think. All right. Yeah. Everyone wants to be okay. so close to the end. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh no. Go, this go. is meaningful. We all yeah. learned a new word together. We oh no. To know what am I not doing right here? here. Hold on. Can't oh, Clayton oh, wants okay. the blob baby to die. I, I see. know, right? He said that. He said that to my Golden face. Cancelled. <laughs> yeah. Let's put one of those down. No. Oop, oop, oop. <coughs> Ooh, Before we started streaming shot. today, mm -hmm. Clayton was in my DMs and he was like. I hope that blob baby dies when we played mm -hmm. you soft today. That's what he mm -hmm. said to me. I if that baby was skydiving, I would just let it fall. <laughs> that's, no, that's, yeah, that's a, thank yeah. you, thank you, yeah. That's that's why Clayton doesn't want to finish the game, because this whole time he's been planning to climb the tower and then throw the blob baby <laughs> off of it. <laughs> yeah, just an overhand throw, like a, <laughs> a little football. We joke a lot about throwing our cat like a football <laughs> in <a> spiral. <laughs> Aerodynamic football cat. Okay, I should put the piece down. It's cool how it lights up once you mm -hmm. grab onto it. Alright. A little resting point, yes. I got um got that new Yakuza game, been playing a bit of that. Ooh. Oh, which one is it? Uh the man who erased his name. Ooh. Which is uh, and there's still that other one, the money uh, money Infinite Wealth. That Infinite Wealth. In yeah. A couple months, I, think, yeah. I feel like they announced so many games. Yeah, they like they make a lot a of games. Period. But it's a lot of fun. Cool. It's, uh, it's it's more Yakuza, which is the one with the Animal Crossing. Infi and that is Infinite Wealth's private <laughs> island um, thing. Oh, this seems to be a 
Tenth right, right lance. lance, yeah. I haven't unlocked it yet, but it's in there. Ah. Go on for we could We could let you know how it ends. We can we can clip it. We can clip the ending. Oh no. And we can we can post it to either TikTok if it ends up as a good TikTok with a spoiler warning. Or or just to the Instagram story perhaps. Mm. I'm saying we as in I. I will I will personally do this. Or yeah, I think there's some YouTube channel that like archives almost all the streams. Um, we started a Polygon Live channel for posting like the more produced streams, like the the Game Awards Awards, which is coming up soon. Uh, the Game Awards Awards coming yeah, up soon. We talked yeah. about some ideas December for this year. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. I think it's gonna be the best one yet. We'll, we'll make sure you know the ending for Blob Baby. Baby. I can grab the. Let's see. Let me grab. Let me go to YouTube. Oh no! YouTube.com. Yes, you're right, Dirk. That is the the Game Awards Awards. Yeah, that's what you want to tune in for. I'm so excited for that. I got, I got a lot of work to do, but it's all going to be extremely worth it. What? Yes. Wh okay, we talked a bit about this, but wh what do people think? The GTA 6 trailer, will it be at the awards, or is it going to... Is I think it's got to be at the awards. Will Jeff Keighley sell his soul to get right. that at the Game Awards, or is it's Rockstar like, going to do what Rockstar does? Why else would they specifically be dropping, like, they said early December? Like, I feel like it's such a coincidence. It's hmm. like, What What is the benefit of hype for that? Like, do they need any <laughs> trailer hype? No, yeah, that's the thing. is that They could announce it uh, on fucking a, a Tuesday night at 3 a.m. and it wouldn't make any difference. Yeah. Them. They can... They do not need Jeff's help. Jeff needs their help. Can they get... <laughs> Jeff needs their help. Yeah, I was going to say, can they get something extra special? Yeah. Is there something they need to, like talk about with this game and i don't think so i think they're just yeah. like i mean it's like they have skipped e3 forever right they, they just don't do stuff around e3 like when you are planning e3 coverage uh and thinking about who's going to be doing what and what we need to be prepared to cover you, you just don't think about rockstar because they they, they don't need mm. the biggest gaming trade show in the world because Almost there. So, and was it leaked where it, where it lo it's located, or is that still just a theory, a really good theory? Do we know? Uh, I think they said where it's located. They said Miami. Oh, they're fake Miami. Is that fake Miami? Fake. Oh, fake Miami. <laughs> fake Miami. Fake Miami. My favorite place to go. I love that song. <laughs> Tina, of all all your songs that are available on streaming, "Fake Miami" is definitely oh yeah one of my top like Miami. top ten. Gosh. It's it's Yo. on everywhere and nowhere all at once. <laughs> Fake Miami dropping. In three days. Was there? Get excited. I wonder if they'll I mean, have if like. Uh, <laughs> no. Sorry, go ahead. Well, I'm just curious. This is the first time like they made. Oh, I need to fucking put oh. something down there. Um, Grand Theft Auto Five, based on San Andreas, yeah. which is already a large environment. No. But Vice City is not a large environment, so I'm curious what they'll fill in to presumably make another large map. To make, oh, right. It would be weird if they went um, back to just like a pretty small, just ur pretty much urban area like 4 was. I mean, they'll probably give us some swamps, right? Oh, swamp, I, I wonder if they'll swamps. put in like a Disneyland. 
Oh, I heard that but, Miyazaki's making a Poison Swamp level for the new GTA, for sure. Oh, hell yeah. But yeah, it is. It, the area around Miami is extremely flat swamp. and boring. Yeah, that's the thing. I was like, what? I guess I wonder if they'll just make Florida, kind of, to be more in, like... Because, I mean, San Andreas is kind of like, a lot of California. Uh, yeah. um, maybe they'll do sort of like a Red Dead 2 and sort of do a bunch of, like, smaller cities, sort of condense the south, right? Oh, like, yeah. RDR2 had stuff that was like Louisiana and, like, Virginia, and then yeah. like, even, like, stuff that felt like it was getting up into the Carolinas and the East Coast. Clayton. Uh, uh-huh. You're fucking up right now. <laughs> but still, it's like Florida. Just, it, it is still just mostly just swamps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, swamps have incredible have boats, biodiversity. Though. Yeah. I hope that we can collect plant and insect samples. Yeah. And maybe craft potions. Uh, okay, yeah. Clayton, I want to My... rescind what I said. I was watching the stream when I said you were fucking up. I think you're actually doing great. Thanks. I'm looking at the Discord call now, and you're awesome. I'm gonna try to go Sorry, backwards back here. Oh no! I, one of the videos that I was like yeah. thinking about maybe doing for my next video, but then I I I don't want to because it's for two reasons. Um, too depressing, and I just did a depressing video. And, <laughs> um, I don't want uh, the largest and uh, not smartest gaming audience to get mad at me. Uh, yeah. But like. Examining how you make a GTA game in the age of the mass shooter. Um, mm. Like Sandy Hook happened, I'd say, like a year, a couple months before GTA 5 came out. Yeah. Um, and they didn't, like, I think, I can't imagine that they're going to have the Rampage missions again, which was, I think, oh, in yeah. GTA 5. Yeah. Just like, hey, go to this area and kill as many of this kind of person as possible. Mm. Um, to, ooh, yeah. hmm, hmm. So in this day and age. Let's go, mm. what the fuck? Mm. Mm. Oh, is it fully extended? Yes, I really don't know. Oh. Weird. It's going to be such a weird tone to, to, to walk. And yeah. you also mentioned it's different writers for the first time in, like, ever. <laughs> or at least a, right. a while. I believe this is the first one that's not going to be uh, primarily written by the Housers. Clayton, you've got eight minutes to get to the top of this tower. I'm almost there. Nice. <laughs> eight minutes till the baby dies. Can you make it? <coughs> Can you make it in time? Wait, no! Oh, I guess I gotta kind Dirk of Pitt, GTA 2 is the one that's like in the 60s in London, right? Yeah, I was a, a little bit like hoping that they would do a European city, potentially London. Um, because that would be so good. Because they always do American cities, and I get it that that's like part of now what GTA is kind of known as, but I feel like a London one could be pretty interesting. Maybe a Scottish developer could have something to say about London. <laughs> I know they have lots to say <laughs> about America, but I'm a little curious about that. GTA Glasgow. Just Glasgow. You don't understand a single word. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. here we go. This is probably it. Put the oh. baby in the hole! Put him on a little pistol! What the hell? Go. Oh. Pipes. Pipe. Baby, please! Do you need more horns? Horn. Two. <gasps> nope, no, I can't I bear to see him sad! Maybe he's just eepy. Maybe he's not dying. Blow harder. If he's eepy, we should let him sleep. <laughs> Shark is right. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that's gotta switch to uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a syzygy. 
Wait, what? <laughs> those those uh, planets all just aligned. Oh. In the little uh, gyroscope thing. Oh, he going! It's okay, Ryan. You're among good company. I think we have to say goodbye. Fuck yeah, the baby! He is one of them. We knew it. Whoa! <laughs> Bye. Oh. <laughs> oh. I have to return to my people. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, but how's he gonna get back down? <laughs> yeah, hang on a minute. I, I'm gonna tell you, tell you this from experience. It's usually a lot easier to go back down than it is to climb up. <laughs> he whips out his Legend of Zelda glider. Oh, so the ocean's gonna come back. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, that's what I was like. Oh, shit. Oh. And now it makes sense how this tower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Piss. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> oh, avoiding lovely. bears. Avoiding Congrats. bears. Yeah. yeah. Glad we could help. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's stuck up there forever. Yeah, they don't even address how he gets down. Okay, I'm gonna... I feel like there wasn't even any like rocks to climb to get up there. I feel like he fully like flew up to a floating island or something. Oh, the French. Uh huh. Oh, ho, ho. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna bring up the Madame web trailer. Wow. Thank you. Because I actually, I, I've only watched the line. I haven't seen the whole thing yet. I haven't seen the whole thing either. <laughs> oh man, that guy's name is Carl Badgrass. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say, reiterate Who the fuck this. the is Kevin England? Even though you got some of the story, obviously, in the stream. Um, this is a game that is as, as fun, if not more fun, to play than it is to just like get the experience from. It is a tactile, uh, interesting experience, and I highly recommend it, even if you just like the idea of like climbing an video game a little bit. It's like the best implementation I've ever seen of it, frankly. Um, and I think it's on Game Pass, so it's possible a lot of you out there can already play it right now. Um, so here, let me... Switch to um, this oh, I love other Felix window. And Elvin. I'm just gonna do a window capture. Okay. Um, let me just full screen it first. He went off to the baby is okay. Well, his people, he's good. They are peeing from the sky in peace. <laughs> peace, peace, which is French in for peace. Mm. Peace. Aww. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sorry. Peace. This underneath everything. Oh, I just noticed that the game's like icon for the little program running down in my dock is the little guy. <laughs> oh. Perfect game. Um, okay. Thank you, anonymous gifter.
All right, do I also need to stream this to you guys so you can yeah, watch it yeah, in real time? Stop stream. Start streaming us the trailer. Uh, okay, share your screen. My damn web. Here's my damn, my damn web. web. <laughs> All right, everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. We're going to enjoy this together. God. It already looks like a CW show, like they said. Hey, come on. Get your stuff. Let's go. <laughs> Let's try that again. Time with baby. Mm -hmm. A week yeah. ago, I spent my life racing against time. I'm gonna help you out today, okay? Trying to save people who are running out of it. Oh, she just sounds like this the whole trailer. <laughs> changed everything. It wasn't just that one line read. <laughs> Come on! Welcome back to the land of the living. I don't understand what's happening. I've been having visions. I knew he was gonna die. Oh no. I think I'm seeing the future. New York City's a whole new level of crazy these days. <laughs> <laughs> I love this like ancient train, a guy playing a PS uh PSP? I don't think it was even a Vita. New York City is a whole new level of crazy. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a PSP. It's oh my god. What year is this? Who are you? What is going on? I can see the future. Oh, what the hell? She didn't see that coming? That's not how it works. I've seen that man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. <laughs> How many takes of that do you think they did? You're the paramedic. <laughs> to get the right, you the right ran me over. <laughs> you don't think this is weird? How we're all connected? It's honestly like the least weird thing that's happened all day. What do you want from me? You have no idea what those girls have come. Why don't you want from me? I think he can see into the future. Why are you Trying to change what happened. Oh, no. Julia, get down! Why aren't you scared of me? Why do you care for me? Your future was almost so different. Why do we? If you want to live, you have to trust me. Believe. Get ready. Yeah. One. Once I started seeing these action effects, it does really yeah, look CW, Maybe like Supergirl or The yeah. Flash. Yeah. Like, wow. I thought They're people were exaggerating. Uh, so, <coughs> who's the main actress in that? Dakota Johnson. Ooh, hosting Dakota Johnson. everyone for the holiday. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, the um, post that Josh wrote on our, our website, Joshua who's read the comics and like totally understood this um i'm just gonna put up the this thing um said that the uh that guy time travels and opens up a whole other um mm -hmm. storyline in spider-man that's both like considered like kind of weird and they don't talk about it anymore okay. um but uh involves a lot of wild um wild stuff you should check out the article i'm not explaining it as best as i could i don't think but uh thanks for joining us oh it's we... in the stream yay well in the stream hey, you now. should plug our new video <laughs> i should plug our new video um i guess do. I, can, Please do. I could just start Especially playing it you can just start getting a preview of it here um when i first fought Balteus, yeah Armor there it is. Six wasn't released yet and there were no guys um, to save me i should I not have the volume going now <laughs> Um, so we made a video. There's me. That's I'm in the video. Um, and it's about Armored Core 6. It's about this boss in Armored Core 6 specifically that's kind of the gatekeeper like Margit was in Elden Ring. Um, and it's a fun video that I did with Pat. Uh, he's in here. Um, and we talk about 
this boss and how it's actually a good way to view a lot of what this game is about and what this boss in particular is trying to teach you about the game. Um, so even if you don't need a guide for this boss, you should check out this video. It's not really a guide. It's more of an exploration of boss design. Look at those graphics Clayton did. Damn. So good. They're so good. Oh, yeah, I did some I graphics. I was noticing that when I was going through and doing my... I had fun with the HUD oh, effect just... from Red Giant. Yeah. Um... <laughs> okay, but yeah, we should go. We're uh, we've, we've streamed a lot. Thank you all for being here. We'll be here next week. I, I'm not See? actually no. Next Everybody. week's Thanksgiving. We'll try to do Tuesday oh, maybe. Yeah. Think that that yeah. could happen. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.